Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Loud Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we are going to be doing a full face of Wayne Goss, but we're going to be focusing on his brand new eyeshadow palette in Smoky Quartz. So if you're curious to see how I created this look, keep watching. Today's video, we're going to be using the new Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette, and this is in shade Smoky Quartz. So let's go ahead and open it, swatch it, and then we're going to do a full face of Wayne Goss, but the focus will be on the eyeshadow. The rest of the makeup will be pretty quick, I've used most of these products before and I really want to use this new eyeshadow. So it does come in his standard packaging. It looks just like all of his other eyeshadow palettes, his blushes, bronzers, everything is in this exact same packaging. You open it up, you do get this plastic protector and then here are the six shades. I think they're really, really pretty. And I think this is definitely a color story that I am going to love. So I'm gonna swatch them and I'm gonna start with this lightest shade and work my way down to the darker shade and then we'll start at the this row and go over to that shimmer. So there's shade one. Shade two. Three, four, five, and then last is that uh, topper, and that's shade six. So shade one two, four, and five are all mattes. Shade number six, I think is probably more like a satin, even though he does uh, list it as a matte. It just has different ingredients, so I think it's probably more like a satin. And then shade number six is his celestial shade. I did also pick up the new eyeliner, and this is in shade Granite. I did use this already over on Instagram. That's what granite looks like. So it's basically a black, just another variation of black. To start today, we'll use the foundation. This is his Luxury Cream Foundation and I have shade seven. So that's what it looks like. I just scoop a little bit out. You don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna break it up on the back of my hand So I literally just rub it down to kind of break it up and make it more emollient. And then I will apply it, that's way too much. So I'm just gonna blend this in with my BK Beauty 101. Here is the foundation on my face. I really, really like it. I've said it before, it's a really nice foundation. And here's everything that's left on my hand. I don't know when I'm gonna learn that you don't need a lot. You just don't need a lot. Um, <sighs> that's so much left over. It takes just the smallest amount. And I thought that I had scooped up a little and I clearly scooped up way too much. So this foundation will probably last me <laughs> forever because you really don't need a lot. I'm going in with the translucent powder. This is the weightless powder. Prior to filming, I did go ahead and prime my face and my eyes. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Radiance Boosting Face Palette and I have shade Satin Bronze. And what I do is I just mix the two shades together and I'm gonna use my Chikohoto F01 to apply that. For blush today, I'm gonna to use his shade Blush Peony. And I'm gonna start with the highlighter because that is what he recommended. And this is a Chikohoto KZ number five that I'm using. I love this highlighter. It's very iridescent and it's got this shift. It's 
so pretty. I'm gonna take my Chikohoto Casey number four and I'm gonna go into the blush shade. And there is the pickup. It's a very subtle, soft pink. But I do think it pairs really well with that highlighter. And now we'll get to the star of the show. This is, again, the brand new eyeshadow palette in shade Smoky Quartz. I'm gonna take a Sonia G Classic Crease and I'm gonna go into shade number two. And we're gonna place that on the crease. I'm gonna try and scoot in for you guys. I think that blended really, really nicely. It is my perfect crease shade. I'm going to take a mini booster and go into shade number three. And we will place that on the outer corner. I think this is a very neutral, everyday palette. which is exactly what I like because it's what I wear. I do work in a pretty conservative office. Um, I think I would get funny looks if I showed up with some of these bright shadows. So these are the shades that I usually gravitate towards and the shades that I wear. I'm gonna take that classic crease again and now just kind of diffuse that darker shade, shade number three, a little bit into the eye. Take a Sonia G Looker Pro and go into shade number one. And we're just gonna place this on the lower lid. I take a rougher number 21 and I am gonna go into this topper shade. This is his celestial shade. And I'm gonna we're going to place that right on top of where I placed that shade number one. So here's the eye with the topper and without the topper. I wanted to try it because I wanted to see if I could love it. I don't. I don't love it, but we are going to make it work. I thought it swatched beautifully. I love that rose gold shade, but when it applies, I just don't, it just doesn't do anything for me. I'm gonna take a Sony G Classic Crease and I'm gonna go into this shade number four and we're just going to build up that outer corner with that shade. a blender pro has nothing on it and I'm just gonna blend I'm gonna take a Sony G pencil pro I'm gonna go in to shade number four and I'm gonna go underneath my eye on my lower lash line with that shade I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeliner and again this is in shade granite so I'm going to line my eyes off camera and then I'll put some mascara on. I do not have a wing gas mascara yet. And then we'll be back to see if we need to do anything else on the eyes before we move on to lips. Here is the finished eye look. I don't think I need to go in and add any other uh, layers of the product. I think it looks really, really good. Like I said, in the future, I will probably stop before I get to that uh, celestial shade, but I did want to at least try it once. So, and I know glitter toppers are not my favorite, and that's my personal preference. I think that this, uh, I think it's swatched beautifully. It just doesn't, it's just not the same on the eye as it is swatched, if that makes sense. Very quickly, I will finish off this look. I have the Wing Goss Lip Liner in shade Mauve and lipstick in Walnut. Here is 
the finished look full face of Wayne Goss with the focus of this look being on the brand new eyeshadow palette in Smoky Quartz. I really, really, really like this palette. I think it is gorgeous. Again, my issue with that Celestial Glitter Topper shade is just personal preference. Um, some people may absolutely love it. So I don't want to say that it's bad because it's not. It is literally my personal preference. But I think that the shades are beautiful. I think the formula is excellent. And I'm really, really happy with this new uh, eyeshadow palette. It's definitely my color story and I'm here for it. Now I do want to talk about his eyeliners. They are really, really good for older, more mature eyes. They do not tug. There are some cool pencils on the market that I've used that really, really tug at the eye when you try and apply it. This does not. These are phenomenal and it's going to stay put all day long. And I just think that they're really good. So I highly recommend his liners, both eye and lip. Let me know down below if you guys picked it up. I heard a lot of people over on Instagram were going to pass. Um, so I'm curious if this is a color story that you guys like. It's definitely my favorite. Um, I love cool toned neutrals. So this is definitely a palette that I'm going to reach for, but I know that maybe it's not for everybody. Some people like those more colorful palettes. I would love to hear from you guys what you guys think, or if you've tried any of these other Wayne Goss products. I'm a huge, huge fan of Wayne Goss and I'm really loving all of his products. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I wanna to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.